from the first time that we, we've met the Arab and the Israeli actors, I think we immediately became friends because, you know, we have a lot in common. We're in the same movie, we're actors, um, and beyond that, we're human beings. And I think much more than that, we want to have good relationship with each other because we feel like maybe we have like a little mission, you know? So we find ourselves a lot sitting together and having fun and sometimes even talk politics together. The very first time we met, we're like <laughs> literally across from each other and we're like, ah, you know, we're going at each other and then he would yell cut and then it'd be like, hey, what's up? How's it going? We'd meet each other. Anyway, the rapport started that way. If you think about my background, I came from Egypt and uh, I am a product of war and peace. I grew up when I was a little boy uh, during the war. I always hide in the theater to watch American movie. So I felt in love with America before I knew what America is, because the movie. Uh, then when uh, the peace came with uh, Sadat made peace with Israel, Camp David, I w had the opportunity to come to America to study film. So I always have something to deal with Israel and me. We had fun discussions on the set. Everybody was, was uh, uh, there was some political conversations. All of them always ended pretty, pretty nice. And, and some of the guys have said to me that it's like, uh, you know, that it's the most they've ever talked with an Arab before or an Israeli, you know? One person actually said that I, that, they thought all Israelis were animals until they came into, until they did this movie. So much of my life, uh, people walk up to me and they'll be like, hey, you Israeli? And I'll be like, no, I'm Palestinian. He's like, and then the, the reaction is, oh, wow. You know, it's funny, we're very similar in a lot of ways. And the, the two cultures have a lot in common and that, you know, especially when they're taken in, when they're in America and they're just, they're foreigners, they're immigrants, then they really have even more in common. It is true in America. I mean, I live in New York City and, you know, people coexist and, you know, work next to each other and they may not all agree on certain things, but they do, you know, live amongst each other and it is, that is, it is possible. If you have economic uh, opportunity, you can, um, people can live in harmony together. And unfortunately, uh, that isn't the case in the, a lot of the world. Because of uh, the safe environment we have here, uh, during our lunch breaks, we would talk. We would talk, we get to know each other, and, and little by little, these talks then bled into the Palestinian-Israeli issue. Um, and it was great, because everyone, had a, everyone was very passionate, and everyone had um, an idea. The Arabs and the Israelis, the Arabs and the Jews, I, I could see that, you know, each of us come from his own place and his own opinions and his own background, and it's good, you know? Everyone has been on a different journey up to this point, so everyone has their own points of view from all different angles and all different perspectives. And what was lovely about these conversations was that people listened to each other. The most important thing that we're sitting together and listen to each other, you know, and, and want to learn about the other. We sort of, we talked really about how, um, how to resolve this conflict, you know, and everyone had different points of views, as is, as is everybody has a different point of view in, in <laughs> the politicians. <laughs> we talked about the leaders, we talked about, you know, what each side wants. And it, what, was, what was really wonderful about it is that I have to say this again, people listen to each other, and I feel like a lot of the times that is not the case um, in the real world. So again, that has a lot to do with the environment that Adam has set up here. I, I feel like privileged that uh, we have the opportunity to, to play together and to talk together, to get to know each other, and we became real friends, you know, uh, and it's fun, it's really fun. It's a table of peace. It's around all our trailer and we always sit there and uh, somehow it changed my life. Some people will say, well, what, what do you mean it changed your life? I, 
I grew up all my life he Israeli because where I grew up the city of Bursaid is on Mediterranean Sea so every time we have a war the city is destroyed so every time we have a role we have a war we have to leave the city so I had that heat for the Israeli and I came here and I forget about it really and sitting on the table with Israeli it does it change my my life because it changed my attitude it changed my thinking about the other side and the other side become my friend because you don't make a peace with your friend you make a peace with your enemy then they become friend so we just for the best two months we are sitting on a table together and really really it changed my thinking about it it, 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 it make me go back to where I had hurt as a boy my my dad died and you know war is war and individual have no problem with that uh, and now we in peace and I think this project was it has a heart in the end they say we condition to heat and when situation solve all this heat go away and this what happened to me and it's just unbelievable how I change for the past two months because this movie because the writing because the communication between uh, you know Palestinian or Arab and Jews and Israeli and Palestinian and Egyptian and uh, it would get heated on occasion between the Israelis and the <laughs> and the Arabs and the Palestinians and uh, the um, but it was very friendly very cool the Israeli guys working with uh, the Palestinian guys is so smooth and beautiful. It was great, which gives me hope, you know. You know, I was shocked because I, the last thing I thought we were doing was, uh, you know, helping anything. We're just here to be funny. Uh, and, uh, but it's been really, it's been really cool to see that. And I feel like, uh, you know, uh, I mean, I've always enjoyed going to Israel, and uh, you know, as a Jew, I feel very, um, I feel like uh, a real connection whenever I go there. And here, I feel a real connection. You know, I instantly felt a connection to the Israeli guys, but now I feel the same kind of thing with the Arab guys because it's really the culture really does overlap in in so many ways, and um, and that's kind of you know, there's a little bit of that message in the movie i mean i hate to admit that there is a message in the movie <laughs> you know at the end of the day the people you know their their friendships with each other in america are challenged at one point and then they realize that you know they had no business being suspicious of each other because you know taken out of the context of you know, institutionalized war and violence and prejudice and hatred that exists where they came from, um, you know, they realize that they have so much in common here. And, um, and that's how I felt with the, with the Arab actors. I didn't feel like they were, not only didn't I feel like they were that different, I felt like, you know, close to them the same way I feel close to Israelis inherently. It's just, just uh, it was very interesting and surprising to feel that way.